Welcome to Strategically Styled. If you are new here, my name is Lisa. I am a school teacher, a woman over 50, and this channel is dedicated to helping you achieve your style goals. Today, I am here with a fashion PSA, and my announcement and my plea is this, get your draws right. Yes, today we are going to be talking about underwear, the foundation of our stylish outfits. So please stay tuned. But if you enjoy this content, give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and join our community and click the notification bell so you will be notified when more videos are uploaded. And you know what? I know you're going to enjoy this video. So go ahead, by faith, click that like button. I'll wait. Okay, let's get into it. Underwear. Now, there are certain garments, items of clothing that are made to expose our underwear or lack thereof if that's how you roll. However, the majority of the clothes that the majority of us wear all the time, that is not going to be the case. Our underwear are meant to be under the clothes and the clothes themselves are the star of the show. Whether you're just simply dressing to be functional, like to exercise, or you are walking a red carpet, in any case, wearing the wrong underwear can detract from your looks. And it doesn't matter how beautiful, how expensive, how well made, and how wonderful your clothes are. If you wear the wrong underwear, they can really derail your look. So what you need to do is determine if in fact, you do not want your underwear to compete with whatever it is you are wearing, then you need to get undergarments that support that goal. So let's get into it. Starting from the bottom up, let's talk about panties. Now here's the thing. Generally speaking, you should try to get underwear or panties specifically that are seamless. Not only seamless, but devoid of decorative details like lace, buttons, bows, pearls, beading, embroidery, anything that has a raised texture. And by seamless, and I have a pair here that I will show you and I will put it in the cutaway as well so you can see it better. But these underwear, these are seamless underwear from Calvin Klein and I got mine from Amazon. Um, There is zero difference in texture at the leg openings, at the waistband. There are no seams, there's no bands of elastic nothing there's no raised features it's a hundred percent seamless i will show you in this cutaway um wearing regular underwear that contains seams and the seamless and you can see the difference sometimes if you're looking at yourself in a mirror and you're just standing still depending on the cut of the garment the seams may not be visible but they become visible as you start walking And this is true, obviously, of wearing something form-fitting like a sweater dress, bodycon dresses, leggings, skinny jeans, etc., etc. So seamless underwear. And again, these Calvin Klein ones, they are a little pricey. And you can certainly find them for less money in pretty much anywhere underwear is sold. However, you want a good enough quality so that they do not lose their shape as you wash them. So when you're buying underwear, things you need to consider are the cut, the color, and the fit. So even if you are buying um, seamless underwear, if you get the wrong size and they are too small, what will happen is the edges of the garment are going to like dig into your body and it's going to create bulges and lines anyway, which for that matter, you should just go ahead and get the ones with the seams. And in terms of the color, if you are wearing something slightly sheer or very sheer that can be, you can see through if you have underwear that is a color that is dramatically different in tone from your skin color, it will also stand out and be prominent. So those are things to consider. Also the same holds true for thongs. And I know a lot of women opt for thongs thinking, oh, this way I'll completely eliminate panty lines. However, if the thongs also have a raised seam or elastic along the edges, 
the little triangle will be visible through some of the clothing you wear. So seamless underwear. It's a small investment that can make a big difference in your presentation of your outfit. Next, let's talk about shapewear. It is important to recognize what shapewear can do and what it really isn't made to do and have realistic expectations. Now, let me give a disclaimer. I myself am not a huge fan of shapewear. It can be uncomfortable. It can be tedious getting it on and off when you have to go to the bathroom. And in warmer months, it can be hot. So I tend to just buy clothes that fit in such a way that they do not emphasize my midsection because real style is really about knowing what parts of your body you want to emphasize, what parts you may want to de-emphasize, and governing yourself accordingly. But I do own some shapewear. It is from a brand called Ambriel, and I will link that down below for those rare occasions when I feel I need to wear it. So what shapewear is really designed to do is if you have um, on your midsection, for example, um, some rolls of rolls and folds and things, what it will do properly fitting shapewear is it will kind of smooth everything out and kind of flatten it so that your torso becomes one smooth column and you do not see all the individual things. It doesn't um, necessarily make you smaller, although it might. And I know some shapewear is marketed to say that it will actually reduce your dress size by two or more inches. Um, a word of caution with shapewear is that if you get shapewear that is too constrictive, not only will it be extremely uncomfortable and difficult to maneuver in terms of going to the bathroom, getting it on and off, but it can actually be dangerous. It can impede your movement, your breathing, um, and even long-term wearing of it can actually even do internal damage to some of your organs. So we don't want to be doing all that. You know, we just want to look cute. Okay, so don't go crazy with the shapewear. So in terms of the size, your shapewear is usually sold in letter sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, etc. So get the letter size that corresponds to your clothing size. So I wear medium, so my shapewear would be size medium. Um, if you get shapewear that is too small, again, it'll be too constrictive, extremely uncomfortable, difficult to maneuver, and it will also create more bulges because it'll be squeezing you so tightly along the top edge and around the leg openings that it almost defeats the purpose of wearing shapewear. And conversely, if you get shapewear that is too large, it might be nice and comfy, but it will not do any shaping, which also defeats the purpose. So that is shapewear. I will also throw in an honorable mention to shaper panties, which obviously aren't going to do anything for your torso section, but here's what it does do. If you have highly textured skin in your lower regions and like cellulite and sagging skin or whatever, just like the body shaping um, shapewear, it kind of smooths and flattens everything out to create one smooth texture if that is something you do not want to emphasize in your outfit. So that is shapewear. Next, let's talk about sheer clothing. I will show you in a cutaway. This is a white skirt from a brand called White Mark. And as you can see, I'm holding my hand behind it. It is backlit in front of a window. Um, it is kind of see-through. You need to make a determination for yourself of your own visual boundaries, whether or not you feel, yeah, whatever. Or if you feel, gee, I don't know if I really want my whole silhouette on display. That will be the case if you wear a see-through-ish skirt and you are either backlit or even if you are in being lit from the front, there's flash photography that can also kind of light you up and put it all on display. If you want to add an extra layer of barrier, modesty, whatever, you can consider getting a half slip. 
and half slips come in different lengths whether for mini skirts midi skirts maxi skirts um, the longer ones usually have a slit a split so that it makes it easier to walk you can also get fuller ones they come in different colors I would recommend just like regular basic underwear that you get ones that are free of embellishment no lace no bows no buttons no frills simply because you don't want that texture peeking through your skirt or whatever and in that way um, the clothes on the outside really are the star of the show and not the fact that you're wearing a highly patterned or lacy slip so in terms of sheer tops I will show you this sheer top that I have that I thrifted some time ago I'm going to layer a camisole underneath and this brings me back to my point about color you need to make a determination what is it that you want to emphasize or de-emphasize so in one scenario I am wearing a light colored camisole obviously that is what is going to stand out and depending on the look you're going for that might be what you want to do as well and conversely I am also showing it with a black camisole which means the camisole kind of disappears and the shirt itself is really more of the focus obviously if you are wearing a sheer dress you can get a full length uh, slip to put under it if you so desire next let's talk about bras now here's the thing about bras it's important that you need to determine when you are buying bras don't just say oh I need a bra so let me buy one but one that actually is accomplishing what it is you want it to do on your body so if you really are buying a bra for lift then you need to make sure you're getting one that accomplishes that whether it's wires or underwires there's a lot of really good things now with underwires that are super supportive and comfortable the larger your cup size is chances are the wider your straps may need to be to really support the weight evenly and comfortably so you do not have straps digging into your flesh because that is horrible and um, you also need to make a determination again what do you want to emphasize what do you want to de-emphasize um, how much are you concerned about nippiness and if that is a factor you might want to consider getting at least a bra in your collection of bras that is lightly lined it doesn't have to be super padded that it adds a whole cup size but enough lining to eliminate that aspect if that's not what you want to be seen depending on what you are wearing and where you're going when you're wearing it so once you have established that your cup size fits properly and the band fits properly here's the thing about wearing a bra even if you have one that is custom made for you when you first put it on you still may need to manually adjust things so that everything is exactly where lined up where you want it to be you don't have the under boob or cups running over and all over just adjust things just to taste the second and so that your bra fits you comfortably and um, fashionably if you have a bra and the cups do fit fine but the band has gotten a little small for whatever reason you can get a bra strap expander and it's just this little thing and it has the little loops on one side and the hooks on the other so you can just attach it to the end of your existing bra and close the gap and um, yes yeah, so it fits better now what I also want to talk about and I think this is one of the bigger struggles that women seem to have is outfits where your bra straps if you're wearing them are visible and in a way that's not attractive and takes away from the look so I'm going to show you my outfit of the day it's this um, crop sweater with a cutout from a brand called ASTR I think I got it on clearance at Saks it comes in another color but it's more money at a different site if it's still available I'll link it below and I'm wearing some white Casper pants from Belk so anyway I will show you now in a cutaway this sweater um, with two different 
bra variations. In one, I am wearing a regular black bra, and as you can see, the strap is visible. And then in the other, what I have done is I am wearing a convertible bra, and I have replaced the straps that came with the convertible bra with straps like these, which I purchased separately. So this convertible bra, it is by Maiden Form, and I will show you in the cutaway that it has different variations. Um, you can wear the straps regular, you can do it diagonal for one shoulder thing, you can wear it like a halter and put it around your neck, you can crisscross it in the back, pretty much um, you're only limited by your imagination. So that is the convertible bra. And But the nicest thing about it is that the um, strap slide off and you can go completely strapless and the motto of this bra is we won't let you down <laughs> however if you feel i really do want some kind of straps you can opt for something like this and these are adjustable um, you can adjust them just like you would a normal bra strap and adjust them in the exact same way that you can do with the black straps and they are a little less conspicuous or another option is you can actually get decorative bra straps which work with convertible bras. I will inset some to show you. I personally don't have any at this time, but I've seen some that are really pretty and I think I might be tempted to get them. And that way, if your bra straps are going to be visible, they can be um, an actual part and element of your outfit so you can just be a little more intentional about it and they range in price from just under $20 and some of them much that are more beaded and bedazzled and elaborate can be much much more expensive. You can extend the life of your undergarments by taking care of them properly and I highly recommend that you get yourself a lingerie bag. You can find these in the area of stores that sell like laundry baskets, hangers, ironing boards, that sort of thing. That is usually where you can find it. I will link one below though if you want to order them online. They come in different sizes for your slips, your bras, your panties, your shapewear, etc. You put them in, zip the bag securely, and then you wash it. And what that does, it keeps it from getting over agitated. And also if you are washing it with other things, zippers and hooks and other things won't get caught and damage your undergarments. Also, before you wash your bras, you should take a second and close them up by closing the hook together. That way it keeps your bra from getting hooked on other things and potentially damaging them and even pe those hooks peeking through the bags of your um, laundry bag and getting caught in the holes inside of your washer or dryer and damage them. Well, let me just take the dryer out of there. You should, if at all possible, avoid putting them in a dryer and just allowing them hang them up somewhere or lay them flat and allow them to air dry. Also, um, if you have more than one of things such as shapewear and bra, it will also extend the longevity because you'll have something to alternate rather than wearing the same one over and over and over again. In terms of bras, ideally you might want to consider getting at least three um, really good ones. Um, the ones I like, it's Bally, Smooth You, and No Bounce I think is also part of the name. I will link it down below. Um, and if you have more than one, obviously it helps to alternate. Although some women like to just buy one, let it completely wear out, and then get another one. In terms of underwear, optimally you would have at least one week's worth, but depending upon your personal laundry habits, you might want to have two weeks more worth or even more in order to sustain your supply until you have a chance to do your laundry. So take care of your undergarments. So that is getting your drawers right. And I know sometimes underwear seems like a boring and basic thing, but make a commitment to yourself to see yourself as worthy of just not simply just having nice looking clothes, but not having to struggle to pin and try to figure out things, but to get the things that you need to advance your personal style. So 
Anyway, there is much more we could say on this topic. We haven't even begun to talk about like boob tape, but maybe in an upcoming video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. And until next time, have a blessed and stylish day and thank you for watching.